The rules section of your ResGo account will let you define pricing and availability based on specific conditions. Uh, so for example, you could create a rule that lets you set a day of the week availability or a pricing rule that maybe changes your pricing based on a certain date range. An example of this would be if you want to discount your prices uh, during low season, uh, if you're trying to get more bookings, or even increase them if it's uh, high season rates. Now to get to the rules page, we're going to go to inventory and then rules. And then this is what the page will look like when you don't have any rules yet. Once you have rules, you'll see a whole list and we'll see what that looks like in a moment. There's two parts to any rule. You've got your conditions and your actions. So we'll see what that looks like here. We'll click on create rule to get started. And then we want to enter a name. So in our example right now, we're going to do a promotional code. So we'll just name this promo code one. And a description, what does this rule do? Um, in our case, we're going to decrease it by 10%, so 10% uh, discount. Then we need to define the first condition. You can define more than one condition. Uh, an example of this would be, as you can see, we'd put promotional code as our first condition. And then if you only want that promotional code to apply to specific tours, you would also add in what inventory being booked is. And then you'd select which tours you want that to apply to. If you don't select this as a condition, it's going. a promotional code is going to apply to all your inventory. You may not want that, um, but in our case, we're, we're going to do this. So we're just going to do the one condition, promotional code is, and we'll just give it a name. How about promo one? And that's the, the promotional code that you would provide your customer to enter in when they book. If you want to limit the amount of times this is used, you can do this here. Otherwise, just leave it blank if it's unlimited. And then you want to add a action. So there's a few options here. In our case, we're going to set all prices to. We want to definitely decrease the price by 10%. So what this is saying is that if a customer enters promo code one for any of our inventory items, it is going to decrease the price by 10%. And then we're going to click create rule. If you decide you don't want this rule anymore, you can deactivate it or even delete it. And then you can see your list of rules in the list here. So once you've created a rule, it's always a good idea to go through the booking process as if you were a customer, enter in the promo code and just test it out, make sure it's working. And that's the case for all rules. And uh, so there's lots of different options for rules. If you have any questions on a specific rule you're trying to create and you're having trouble, just please reach out to us and we're happy to help.